Look at your neighbor and say, you're going to have to learn how to submit your will. That's the first reason that our prayers are not being answered is because we refuse to bring our will under God. We refuse to bring our will under God. It's always about you. What you want. What you feel. How I feel. What I'm going through. What I'm suffering. What I'm doing without. Jesus can't possibly live in your life because you ain't dead. If any man gonna come after me, he gotta first do what? Deny himself. Take up on his cross, then follow after me. I'm teaching right now better than you responding. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. If you if you if you can't catch your breath, put your hand in your chest. Oof. We can't submit our wills under leadership. My God. That's all right there. You can't even see God, but you can see God's man. Oh, God. See God's woman. You can't Come submit on. under them. Come on now. If you were submitted to God's will, you wouldn't be whispering after we have told you something. Come on now. Well, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. You got exalted wills. And the Bible says, he that exalts himself will be brought down low. That's why you stay in that low place, because you keep exalting your will. Oh the fact of the matter, many say, well, I've been taking care of myself before I come to new creation. You don't know how to take care of yourself. God been taking care of you. Oh you made the mess you've made out of your life. It, that, that, the situation you're dealing with right now, you created that. Oh because you wouldn't submit. If you had been submitted, if you got under the will of God, you would not have that terrible past. Come on, you wouldn't have the pains from your past. I know that's right, man. Come on now, tell the truth. My God. You wouldn't be struggling in your present because you, know, you wouldn't have that past to be dealing with. Come on now, my God. But there was an unsubmitted spirit in you. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I know y'all got to make like I missed it. And I know ain't none of y'all in here never done nothing crazy and never got hurt by moving in your flesh. But why the baby dad ain't still with you? Hello? Didn't that woman say the baby daddy got more babies with another mama? And don't want her quiet as he keeps. If he done you, you know he's gonna do her. She should have had sense enough to open up her eyes. What gonna make what gonna make a spirit treat one better than the other? It's a spirit. <laughs> you gotta get rid of the spirit. I ain't gonna mess with y'all. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. Somebody say, Lord, teach us to pray. The first key is submitting your will. Many young people, hot-headed young folks, have a problem with this. That's why they suffer the pain they suffer. That's why they go through what they go through. Because they do, they know more than us. They know more than God. I don't have to go through what you went through. So what they said is I'm smarter than you. And the same ones, we have to lay hands on them on this altar when their smartness catch up with them. Mm. Somebody say, Lord, help us to pray. Let's go here, Matthew 6. We're going we're gonna to go to Matthew 6, 9 through 10. I want to show you this here. Matthew 6, 9 through 10. Yes, I am. Matthew 6, 9 through 10. I'm going to work this thing tonight if you just stay with me. That's all I, I just need you to stay with me. 
After this man, I share you pray. You already asked me, Lord, Luke uh, chapter number 11, verse number 1, Lord, teach us to pray. And he says this, after this manner, therefore pray. Our Father, which simply points out that you pray to the Father. Somebody say you pray to the Father. Some of you praying to Jesus. Why are you praying getting after? You don't pray to Jesus. Later on, I'll teach you that. You just use his name to access the Father. I'm going to give you solid scripture if you can hold on. After this manner, therefore, pray our Father which is in heaven, hallow or holy be thy name. This is what we need to be praying. Thy kingdom come, your way of doing things. That, that's what we need to be praying in the earth to say. God, that your way of doing things will come into the earth. Let me say that again. God, that your way of doing things will come into the earth. Your methodology, your mindset, your operational system, your governing technique, that it will come into the earth. Watch this here. All right. and, and thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Now, Jesus don't tell them to pray for water, bread, clothes, money, none of that. He tells them right here, this is what you need to be praying, that the will of my Father will be that the will of my Father will be done in the earth, and that my Father's operational method will come into the earth, and we won't be dealing with an economical problem right now. That's good. Anywhere you have man's way of doing things, you're going to have corruption. You know why the money funny and the change strange now? Because those in the top places are stealing. Come on now. Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. I don't have time, but when you get some time, you go to James chapter number five and you begin to read and you'll see what they done stole from y'all. Right. All of you who ever worked a job, yes, some of them CEOs done stole from you. Right. The raise you should have got, they took it home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's right in the Bible. Yeah. I ain't getting no promotion. Every time they demoted you, he got promoted in his pocket. That's how it works. That's how it works. You a pawn on a chessboard. A disposable piece. I know you, 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 I mean you, 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 you can't handle that. Uh, we can get rid of you. We don't really need to give you no reason. You a pawn. We put another pawn in your place. If we lose you, we don't lose the game. That's right. Come on. Well, my God. But look at your neighbor and tell them they made a mistake because I'm not disposable. Amen. So you don't understand the anointing of Joseph was up on your life. And when they move you, they move favor out of their camp for you. Hear what I'm saying? That's why some of them are struggling financially now. Because they didn't know how to handle their Joseph. They didn't know how to handle Josephine. They should have been cutting that other bomb hours. But they cut Josephine hours. They cut Joseph hours. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? You never cut the person who, who brings favor to the table. You don't read nowhere in there where Potiphar's house prospered anymore after he got rid of Joseph. That's right. Yeah. My God. Glory to God. Woo. Hallelujah. You got to be careful. You can't afford to lose favor. Come on. That's right. Don't be jealous of folks that's in your life that you see the favor of God on. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Connect. Because favor flows down. Oh, let me say it again. You missed that. I say favor flow down. You can throw me in the pit, but I'll be the one to save you. When you run out of food, I'll be the one to put food on your meat pack. And I'll be the one to put your money back in your money bag. And when you get home, you won't even realize that you didn't have to spend no money. Y'all right. yeah, don't want to be tall. God's trying to reveal to us when we begin to pray, we need to be praying, Lord, what's your will in the earth now? What are you doing in this season? Anybody that's a leader in, a, in an auxiliary, you know why you're not, your auxiliary is not prospering? Because you're not praying God's will. God, what is your will? I know what you used to do, but I need to know what you're doing now. I need to know what we need to be doing right now. When God gives you a position of authority, he expects you, watch this here, he, he expects increase. 
anything he gives you, he come back looking for it to be greater than it was when he gave it to you. I know you can't have it. He gave one, yeah. He gave one, five, one, two, one, one. Got mad with the one that had one because he come back and found him with the same thing. He blessed the one that had two because he had four. He blessed the other one that had five because he had ten. He said, I know what I gave you, but I expect it to increase. And anything that won't bring forth fruit, it need to be dead. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And anything God put you in, you ought to be, it ought to be better than it was last year. I know you can't realize it, but my ministry has shifted. I'm preaching five times as much as I did last year. I got another mid conference laying in the bed last night, not even looking for nobody to call me. Pastor Jones, can you come do this mid come? Are you here? I don't have to say, Doc, what's up? Long time I ain't heard from you. When you gonna have me over? Come on now. I don't really want to be over by Doc Church anyhow. <laughs> Doc got a dead church. The Bible says your gift will make room for you. And it'll bring you before great people. I ain't got no time to be ardent and contending with these jokers. I got to, y'all don't hear me. I got to perfect my gift. Because if my gift ain't perfected, it ain't going to make no room for me. Why ain't nobody using us? Perfect your gift. Sharpen your gift. Teaching the same on the same dead level you was three years ago. Oh my God! Oh my God! Singing the same dead way. Oh God! But want to be used by God? Yeah. Come on. Call whatever you're doing in this season. It's a prophetic word. Well, don't do it without. I don't care who else don't want it. Don't leave me. I go if I got to go by myself. Put on back up in here. I ain't gonna let y'all take me there tonight. When you study that thing out while you singing this song, you study it out. God gave that man a prophetic word that I'm getting ready to do something new in this season. And then what Paul answer was, Brother Robert, this was his answer. He said, uh, 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 Lord, I don't know what you're doing, but don't do it without me. Huh? Now, now God's revealing his will to him and he said well forget about what greater St. Stephen been doing forget about what changing a, a nation a generation been doing whatever God doing now whether nobody else is doing it we gonna step out and do what God is doing in this season how will I know what God is doing in this season if I don't communicate with God in prayer and take upon the mind of God through dialogue with God Oh, give me. Lord, I need my bills paid. Lord, I need this. Lord, I need this. And you so busy talking and you done frustrated and vexed God to God can't tell you what he needs you to do because your blessing is in obeying God. Okay, Charles, you need to talk. Calm down, calm down. Woo, calm down. So look at somebody and say, prayer is not a way for us to get nothing from God. But it's a way for God to get something to us. If you can just grab a hold of that concept, you can grab a hold of that concept. I guarantee everything you need is already in the Word of God. And you don't have to pray. You don't have to pray about that. All you have to do is just open up your mouth and decree what God's Word has said. You ain't even got to be in no prayer session. You don't even worry about it. They talking about your children out there and they doing this, that, and the other. Let me show you what. Let me, sh let me show you something. I'm, I'm going to show you how, how the devil don't want y'all to learn, how the devil don't want y'all to be wise. Let's go to Acts chapter number two. See, when people come to me with that ignorance, and I said ignorance. Come on, say it. That's what I said to the fifth power. <laughs> ignorance. When they when they come to me with that with that kind of ignorance, they, they, this is what I tell them. Listen to what the Bible says. Peter says, and repent every one of ye and be baptized. Uh, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ unto the remission of your sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost verse number 39 Amen. for to you is this promise and to your children my God, that's right. That's right. see when they start talking crazy I tell them what the promise is for my children hey! you don't hear what I'm saying hey! what, 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 you 
all worried and stressed out losing your hair, blood pressure all up, and sick in your body because of what your kids do. No, what you need to remember is your promise. You are a child of the living God. Y'all don't want me to preach. I'm going to teach this thing down in your spirit anyhow. You got to hear what I'm saying here today. All you got to do is remind devil at the devil and the forces of hell that's coming against your child what the promise of God is over your child. And they are bad couple. If they know you don't know nothing, they're going to continue to stop because they won't stop for nothing but the word of God. 